It is Sunday, February 18th, 11.39 p.m. And I've been mulling things over in my mind all day. Had something happen that really hurt me today, big time. It would be easier to just be pissed. Anger's an easier emotion for me than admitting that someone, I let them in close enough to hurt me. I have been, well, my one word of, of intention for 2024 is light. It's not a resolution. I didn't resolve to do a damn thing. I just set an intention to focus on my light. And by doing that, I have been trying to be more open because for a long time I have hidden my light for various reasons. Um, a lot of it's been because of things that have happened to me around the time that my dad got sick and when he died. Being the oldest in a family is not easy. In fact, I would tell you just bail out if you are because I hate it. Um, with it comes all this responsibility that's crammed in your head from the moment you're born. At least it was in mine. And unfortunately in my family, anytime anything goes wrong, I'm the one that's thrown under the bus by everybody. And that happened when my dad died and it broke me. It broke me in two. And I pulled in. I shut my light off. I just didn't. When you're broken in so many places and you lost the one person that it's hard. It's real hard to open back up. And so I stepped out and took a risk to try to get to know some people, mostly women, a couple of men, but in this group. And no, it's not Gratitude Slam or Life on Your Terms, and I'm not going to name who it is. If you have anything to do with me, you can add two plus two and find four, okay? I'm not going to name names. I'm going to talk about how I feel and what I've gone through. One of the lights I have, I lost for a long time. I lost my, what I call my voice inside of me to be able to paint. Or I forfeited it or whatever. I don't know. I just know years ago when my granddaughter died and then my there was I had a granddaughter that died and a grandson that died and in between those two I had like 10 other people die and by 2005 I was an emotional wreck and I tried to paint a portrait of my granddaughter and I couldn't finish it and I'm an artist I've always been an artist. That's the, the first language I ever knew. I, I would draw before I would walk. That's who I am. And for me to not paint or not create at all was like, I lost me somewhere in all the grief. And... 
I started writing and I could write. I don't know if I'm a good writer or not. I really don't care. I just write because it's cathartic and it helps me work my problems out in my head. Because if you've ever been through grief, well, grief never ends. I'm sorry, you just don't get through it in five easy steps. It sucks. You live with it for the rest of your life. How would it ever go away when you love someone so deeply? Sorry. News flash. You can do all the grief recovery in the world. You're still going to have days that it's going to grab you by the throat and knock you on the ground. You just get through it. So I've been doing the best I can to get through it. Some some days it's pretty, some days it's not pretty. <laughs> but, back to the point. I've been trying to share my light. I've been risking to be vulnerable, to be authentically me. Well, even authentically me is all mixed up and screwed up most days. I'm not a good people person. I I love to paint. I love to write. I love to draw. I, I took up, taught myself how to do a quilt because I wanted to honor my dad. I wasn't trying to become a famous artist. I'm just trying to work the crap out in my head. And if I can share my light with somebody and let them know there's hope, so be it. That's all I've been trying to do. And I've been trying to connect because I've been so disconnected. And so I was involved in this group of people. And I really felt like, wow, these are cool people. And it really made me feel good to be a part of something. And I risked to post a painting, the first painting that I've even done since 2005. And I posted a picture of it in our little chat, and I posted the story that I wrote with it because I wanted them to know I'm not done with this yet, but oh my God, look, this is actually happening. This is like a total spiritual awakening for me. The leader of this thing put a message out soon after that and basically didn't call me out, but two plus two equals four people. Everybody knew who she was talking about. And told me, basically, even though she didn't say my name, we're not to post anything that's soliciting. And it was a very passive-aggressive message. And so it hurt me deeply because I nowhere in that did I say, I'm selling my crap. I didn't. I wouldn't. The painting that I'm working on is for somebody in my family. The story I wrote goes with it for my family. I made it clear. And it hurt deeply that somebody tried to shove my face in the dirt and shut my light off one more time. So I've been thinking about that. And it appears to me that apparently I must have a big darn light. I, my light must be so freaking awesome that it would actually make somebody feel intimidated like that. Wasn't me doing it. But you know what? I'll be damned if I'm going to let anybody else hurt me to the point that I hide my light anymore. So, you know what I had? The thought today? If you don't like my light, put some sunglasses on, go away, and don't look. 
because I'm going to shine my light. And I'm not going to let anybody make me feel ashamed of it. I'm sorry if I make mistakes while I'm learning how to shine it, but they're not intentional. I'm not trying to steal anybody else's light or income or anything else. I'm just trying to be me.